Welcome back to Real Estate Mindset. Today's video is gonna be absolutely bonkers. Now, the data is in, and the Federal Housing Finance Agency announced that they are now requiring mortgage lenders to incorporate credit scores from Vintage Score, which essentially means we're going to be able to use alternative lines of credit to help people get qualified for mortgages. It's estimated that this will help over 10 million people become buyers. But what if I told you that as loan officers, we could already add alternative lines of credit, which is true. So is the new requirement really that great? And will it really help millions and millions of people today, even though we can already do these things? So that's exactly what we're gonna do today, guys, is those are the questions that we're gonna answer by deep diving into this subject. But remember, you guys, I'm not a financial advisor, even though my bio is as a realtor, loan officer, and instructor in all things real estate plus, I had a foreclosure myself in 2008. I'm now a homeowner, even though, I'm renting right now. So if you guys can, please, for my journey, for my channel, for my message, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and shoot me a comment below. But regardless, let's get started now. All right, y'all, so we're gonna read an article from Money, and the name of this article that we're really gonna dig into is called 10 Million More People Could Qualify for Mortgages Thanks to the New Credit Score Rule. So let's jump into this right away, you guys. An estimated 10.7 million additional people could qualify for mortgages thanks to upcoming changes to lender scoring models, to lender credit scoring models. Black households in particular particular are expected to benefit. On Monday, the Federal Housing Finance Agency announced that it will require mortgage, mortgage lenders to incorporate credit scores from Vantage Score when evaluating potential borrowers. Lenders will also need to transition to a new version of the FICO score for the first time in nearly two decades. Critically, both Vintage Score and the new FICO score will include information about borrower's rent, utility, and phone payments, and that is the core of this model, and I'm going to go into that a lot more as we continue this video about why that's so important. Let's continue. Requiring both credit scores when available re will result in more borrowers that can be evaluated. So rent, utilities, and a phone bill. Now you guys, this is especially important, especially for potential homeowners that do not have established credit yet. Being able to include your utility bills, your rent payments, or your phone bills actually gives the lender and underwriters an ability to determine your credit worthiness or your borrowing worthiness. So, so far guys, this is good. But again, like I'm saying, we could already do that. A good loan officer is already going to do that. But regardless, you guys, the requirement of phone, utility, and rent payments, essentially what that's going to do is require that those things are now reporting on someone's credit report. Now, whether that gives you an additional FICO score increase or not, that generally doesn't happen. But it does allow, again, the underwriters to determine and to see on-time payments, which is very, very important when it comes to lending. Two scores, she said, should help lenders manage risk while also reasonably and sustainably expanding access to credit for borrowers with less robust credit history. The FHFA sets the guidelines for loans that can be purchased by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, government-sponsored enterprises that support the mortgage market by buying loans from lenders. Requirements include a maximum loan size of 647,000 and a minimum borrower credit score of 620. Lenders often won't make loans that fall outside of these conditions because they can't sell them in the secondary market, increasing their risk and cost. The FHFA hopes that the changes it announced will allow more people to qualify. However, FHFA did not set a deadline for the new policies to be implemented, describing it as a multi-year Effort. So again, you guys, this is a really big deal. So let me kind of explain to you how this works and what loan officers are supposed to be doing right now. So if I have someone, you know, this is a hypothetical situation, of course, this is my personal YouTube channel. But hypothetically, if I had someone come to me and say they had a 620 credit score, okay, now, first of all, understand that most of mortgages are underwritten automated, okay, so it's a basically a program or a computer underwriting 
loans. All right. So that's called AUS, Automated Underwriting System. So say I have someone that meets the FICO score or credit score threshold of 620. If I run that person through the automated underwriting system with a 620 credit score and they get denied, I then have the potential as a loan officer to seek what's called alternative lines of credit, which is rent, utilities, and phone bill. So I can do that right now. So here's how it works. So if I determine that I want to add alternative lines of credit to attempt to get a borrower qualified, I can then order something called a credit supplement. And a credit supplement allows the credit provider to add those additional lines of credit without it impacting their FICO score. So in other words, you guys, you can do this right now, but the problem is, is most loan officers don't do that right now because either they don't know that they can or because it requires time and expenses to do it. And remember, loan officers don't get a buyer's rep agreement. So a lot of the due diligence, unfortunately, cost a ton of money. So in other words, what I'm saying is the requirement to start using these things is a beautiful thing because now the loan officers it will just be included in everyday processes for loan officers. If it's incorporated within, within the system, then you don't have to rely on a great loan officer to get a good deal. And that's the problem. You have to be in an outstanding loan officer to even know that you can do that, right? So all in all, you guys, I like this. Who benefits from the FHFA's credit scoring change? The FICO scores become a key part of mortgage underwriting process in the 1990s. It brought efficiency and cost savings and was also shown to be better predictor of on-time payments than other common matrix. However, FICO and other credit scores did not capture things like on-time rent or utility payments that previously had been included in manual underwriting process. This omission has disproportionately affected black households, which tend to have less history of traditional borrowing. Lenders rely on credit history and credit scores to determine mortgage eligibility and loan pricing, but black households have regularly experienced greater difficulties accessing the same services that have allowed white households to build strong credit profiles. However, Vintage Score estimates that it can provide credit scores for 37 million people that FICO score doesn't currently capture. Or those the company estimates 10.7 million will have a score of 620 or above, including approximately 4 million minority borrowers. So they're essentially saying that FICO score is not reporting credit scores for 30 seven million people. So overall, you guys, I think this is great. This is not taking in shortcuts. This is making the process more streamlined, which is really, really important to do and to get all of the benefits and all of the strategies of a good loan officer when it comes to the biggest financial transaction of your life. So I like this. I think it should be a requirement. It's going to be easier for me. We're not going to have to spend as much money and it's going to be incorporated. It's a win-win situation for everyone in my opinion. So do me a favor, guys, comment below and let me know if you agree with what I'm saying. So the question was, will this program really help millions of people become homeowners, especially considering loan officers could already do these things to begin with? And the answer is yes, this is absolutely going to help millions of home buyers because generally loan officers do not order credit supplements to get automated underwriting approval in advance. So this new system is now forcing loan officers to do a better job while also streamlining the process for mortgage lenders. So overall, again, I think this is an absolutely great thing. And I think it's going to help a lot of people that need a slight helping hand up. Now, other than that, you guys, I really hope you guys got some value perspective and insights from today's video. And if you're out there investing in real estate, you know I wish you luck and I hope you win.